Hello, second graders. I am very sorry that I'm not able to be with you today. I am actually at a technology conference, so I'm hoping that I am going to be able to learn about some really great new tools so that we have some other fun things um, to learn about. So one of the things I want to teach you today is how to use one of our research tools. And one of my favorite tools for us to use for research is called Britannica Online. So the first thing that you need to do is go into your shortcuts folder. And then I want you to find the folder that says research. So in this folder, I put some of the best sites that we can use to do some research. So like I said today, the first one that we're going to learn is Britannica School. So you're going to come up here to the top, double click on Britannica School. And when it loads, it's going to ask you for a username and password. So hopefully by now you have your cards with your username and password and everyone has the exact same one. So you're going to type in 1053 John and AEA 10. Okay, and you can see there you can use this little eyeball and check everything is lowercase and then you click sign in. You are elementary, so you're going to click on elementary. And then this is what comes up. There's a lot of really cool things that you can use. If you're not sure what you're researching about and you want to just kind of come in to learn, there's all these really cool things that you could learn. There's a daily question and you can see all the cool stuff here that kind of slides through as well, okay? Um, so let's say that one of the things that you are trying to do research on is insects and maybe you want to learn more about bees. So I'm going to come up here to the search bar and I'm just going to start typing in B. So B, E. And one of the cool things about Britannica is that it comes up with recommended searches for you. Okay. So you can see here, I only had to know how to type in the first couple letters of the word. So even if you're not sure how to spell it, just do the first few letters and then look and see what the recommendations are. You can look at images. There are videos here. There's some other popular searches, but as you can see right here, the article that I want is B. So I'm going to click on B. And then you can see this right here popped up. It says this is the double click dictionary. You can double click any word to see what its meaning is. So maybe as you're looking through this introduction, you're not sure what the word produce means. So you can double click and then it'll come up in English and in Spanish, okay? So you understand what that word means. So we'll close out of there. The other cool thing is any of these words that are blue, you can click on and it will take you to another article about that item, okay? Also, sometimes it helps to be able to listen to something while you read it at the same time. So if you come over here and you click the play button, it will actually start to read the article to you out loud. The other really great thing about Britannica is that it gives you different areas or different sections um, depending on what you're researching. So maybe you, your job is to find out um, how they pollinate. So then I can come and I can look right here and click on role in pollination and then I can see that part of the article. Now this isn't the entire thing, so you're going to have to use these arrows to scroll down and scroll back up to be able to read the entire article, okay? Um, also notice that your pictures over here change and there's different pictures and different videos. Then if you want to find something else to search, you can just click right here in the search box or if you click right here on elementary, it will take you back to your home page. Okay, second graders, now it is your turn to go ahead and mouse around and see what you can find and see what you can search for. I always say that the best way to learn is by getting to actually use the tool. 